It was something that we wanted to do and sort of a, a dream of ours, but an expensive one. We're overjoyed to actually try to, to get these in and then also help Northern foot the bill because it's a lot of work and they're very professionally put together. This is the perfect opportunity to get fish to take mercury samples and monitor the mercury concentrations. Take advantage of that through a partnership with Northern Water. Great partner on all kinds of different projects, not just this, lot, the wide range of projects. We're very fortunate that we have the partners that we do to make that happen. So we're really appreciative to have all the help we do so we can run the program we do. Not only is Northern Water, all the people who depend on the water are benefiting from this, but wildlife's benefiting, the hunters, the recreationalists, and even the neighborhoods around here. And this is actually the largest fish movement study that we've undertaken, to my knowledge, I think in the entire state, at least for quite some time. Our main focus out here is trying to understand how to maintain high crop yields with less water and how to quantify uh, water use. So it's been a very good collaboration. This project for, for Colorado Parks and Wildlife is taking away a diversion structure, a barriered upstream fish passage, and it's allowing fish to freely move. We talked about redoing this area. Not long after that, I went to the fall field day at Northern Water and I saw a flyer for the grant and thought that would be a great opportunity. This is our annual uh, batch of kokanee salmon that we stock in the river below Shadow Mountain Dam. A million fish all in one shot. We often will ask for alteration in operations to get uh, more water coming down the river and we're uh, eternally grateful for that.